Good morning. It is 5.30. It's late March. It's cold. It's about 22 degrees outside, but I'm headed out to go fishing. No surprise there. <laughs> uh, this is a little bit different though because I am headed to halfway across the state to catch a two-inch fish. Why? Well, <laughs> if we get them, you'll see why. Uh, we're going after orange throat darters. They are a cool looking fish. Here in Nebraska, it's probably one of the coolest fish that we've got just as far as the color goes they're amazing looking late march so they are getting colored up to spawn the males should be looking really good right now and it's nice because there's not a lot going on there's not a lot of fish that's really picked up yet spring turkey's not here yet uh so it's a good time to run down and try to check it out so let's go All right, made it to the stream. This is it. It's a typical Nebraska cold water stream. A lot of aquatic vegetation, some nice rocky runs, a few deep pools on the bends and things like that. But it seems like where we find the darters is typically in kind of the rocky runs and especially around the rocks. It seems like the big males and even the bigger females seem to like to hang out in those rocks. So we found a spot up further upstream here last year that had a bunch of them hanging out. And I think what's happening is they're moving into spawn because uh, you can kind of see them being territorial around certain certain areas of those rocks. So, And down here, the current is just, it's pretty strong. It is tough to get bait in front of a darter in this. It's just really tough. So we'll move on and see what else we can find. So I'm a little up, upstream from where I just was, closer to the headwaters, and it's a lot different looking stream up here. Uh, the bottom is a lot more mud. Apparently there must be some cattle or something up above me because the water is all stirred up. I got a bunch of crap floating down it. It's a little muddier. Doesn't look like as good of darter area, but there's these rocks along the edge here and they love to hang out in there. Uh, last year we were sitting here and you could just see them, they'd be down in the rocks and they'd pop out, you know, just go from here to there. Um, but the current up here is not as bad. So they'd pop out and it would give you a chance to get bait in front of them. Uh, it's not totally easy, but it's doable. So this is where I'm hoping I can find some. Hopefully this water clears up. I can see a couple scooting around in here. Um, John and I were looking at it this morning early and didn't see much but it seems like they don't get moving until the sun kind of gets up a little bit so it's a little bit later now the sun's higher hopefully they're going to be moving around a little more so we'll see what we can do here That's not a fish. <laughs> Just a stolen roller. It's a little male stone roller, not a darter. There's one. There's one. Come on, kid. 
one. <laughs> I just got it. I got him. I got him. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, freaking yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Awesome. Plains orange, plains orange throat. Awesome looking fish. So freaking cool. Awesome. Success. Such a cool fish. Very cool. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I got one. <laughs> it took some doing. I've been sitting here for probably... Man, I don't know, I, over an hour, I bet, just trying to pick through those rocks. You could see them moving around in there, but they just would not come out. Uh, and most of them are really small. I haven't seen any good big ones uh, like we saw last year, but man, what a cool looking fish. <laughs> oh yeah, all that work for a two inch fish, but it's awesome. <laughs> yes. Just got a female, nice female. You can see the difference. But hold still. Not as colorful as the males. Still really cool. They're really starting to move now. As the sun's gotten higher and it's warmed up a little bit, there's starting to be a lot now moving in these rocks. There's a nice gravel riffle down there. Uh, I think you can see the males spar it in even. Uh, and those, these females are coming up to lay the eggs and get her back in the water. She looks like she might be done already spawned out but things have definitely picked up I've seen a lot more movement which is really cool okay so i've actually caught a few of them now so and they are really starting to move there is a lot of them in that little pool with that gravel bottom actually starting to come out of there uh there's a few kind of males uh displaying and sparring down there a lot of females moving through uh, there's also a group of central stone rollers down in there too. So I'm going to pop my camera down in there to see if I can get any video uh, of any of that stuff. And then I'll throw a few pictures up after that too, just to, uh, some other ones we've caught. Uh, but the stone rollers are kind of cool too. They, they actually get their name because they, well, they, <laughs> they roll stones. Uh, when they're spawning, they will actually uh, just roll pebbles across the bottom of the creek to clean up their their little spawning area so it's kind of a unique little fish uh, i kind of need to see them in here too so we'll see what we can see down in there
All right, so successful day. <laughs> we got what we went for, caught a few other things. That's always good. Uh, and it's kind of interesting to think about, you know, just this one trip, uh, how much it comes down to finding that one micro habitat within the larger habitat. Uh, this spot where we caught these was the perfect spot. I mean, it was that one spot on the creek that had to rock, so it's going to draw fish in and still not too much current to where we were able to present tiny bait to tiny fish, which is not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> so it was awesome. And you think about it, I mean, that's how, that's how any fishing works. You've got to find that spot inside of the larger spot that's going to draw those fish in in a way that it lets you present bait to them. So, you know, and, and hard to get things like this, it's incredibly important. And, you know, even, even just finding that spot, which, you know, <laughs> how do you find those spots? It's a lot of looking and probably some luck, but even finding that spot, we still had to be there at the right time of day. Cause we were there in the morning and there was nothing moving. We didn't see, we saw like one darter in the morning. Uh, we came back later and there still wasn't much movement. I stuck around a little longer and then they started coming out. So even finding the perfect spot, we still had to be there at the perfect time of day too. So we could have walked right by that, never known it was there. I mean, that's, that's any fishing. That's how it all works. It's like an ever changing, ever evolving puzzle that you've got to solve. And that's why fishing is awesome. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.